It was one of the worst flu seasons in nearly a decade. 160 children killed in a national epidemic. Thousands more hospitalized. It's kind of scary being around everyone when they're sick. I do wash my hand quite often. Doctors never declared the flu season as officially over. The last five years of influenza seasons have averaged 16 weeks. But the worst of it is likely gone for this year. <coughs> In the future, new technology under development could be a game changer. A first of its kind air sampler that detects the influenza virus. If we don't have a good device to capture these airborne viruses, you don't know where they are. Dr. And, uh, Chang Yu Wu and a team of University of Florida researchers created this device to take frequent air samples in public places like an airport. Inside the black box, water vapors attached to tiny virus particles found in the air, making them bigger and easier to detect. The sample can determine if the flu or any other small viruses are floating around in these public spaces. Is it influenza or is it uh, measles? It can alert public officials who can then alert the public to the risk so they can take precautions to help prevent the flu from spreading. Virus aerosol is responsible for a lot of diseases. Spotting viruses early could mean the difference between a small outbreak and a pandemic. Wu sees the device one day even expanding to the battlefield, detecting bioterrorism threats and alerting U.S. soldiers on the front line. I envision in the future we can make it more uh, portable, smaller ones. But his first mission is to put the air sampler to the test when the flu season is back at its peak. His studies have shown Dr. Wu that the flu virus can spread from an infected person to others more than six feet away. Right now, his device is still in the testing phase. Crystal Clark, Fox 13 News.